Do -do, do -do, do -do, do -do. <laughs> it's back out of theme, isn't it? <laughs> Don't mind that. There she is. She is running. She is ready to rock. I've come out to the beautiful, the beautiful English countryside. Saturday afternoon. Nick the wife selfie stick. <laughs> As you do, and I've come just to let you know how I'm getting on with the bike. Running now, had the service done last week, all fine. Oil change basically, that was it, job done. Um, as you can see here, look, 756 miles. So how's it been? It's been a fantastic bike. You could, I've even come out with the, uh, the plan being to have some cool, because as you can spot on the back there, I have got a cool exhaust system, super loud. It's a wing system. I'd never heard of them before, but uh, it's Slovakian. It's an ex-employee of uh, Akropovic, or Apokovic, whatever your preference, who set out on his own and started up a company called Wings. It's all titanium, carbon end cap, 260 pounds. So it's a bit of a bargain, to be honest, because the actual official uh, Akropovic end can is 800 pounds. No way am I paying £800 for an end can or a full system for that. So no, so we've gone for wings. It comes with two baffles. I've actually removed all the baffles. <laughs> so I'll start it up in a minute and you can have a listen. But uh, it's bordering on the offensive. It's bordering on the offensively loud, which is cool, but it may, I may put the baffle back in. It may be just a little bit too much. But I'm absolutely loving the bike. Uh, put my glasses there. It's covered in flies. The insects love it. The fluorescent orange, yellow, brings the old insects in, but it's fantastic. I'm loving it. Um, the seat was really hard when I first started riding it. After half an hour, your ass would be killing you, which is a real shame for a bike which was designed as a road bike. Too hard the to seat, but actually, as I've been riding it, on those 800 miles, it's actually softening up. It's not too bad now. I was going to try and get hold of the black seat because the dealer's got a few spare ones and see if I could get it recovered and refoned, make it more comfortable. I'm still going to try and do that, but it is improving, so I'll make do for now. Um, I've come out with a rear camera to try and get some decent footage of the exhaust and stuff, but as usual, when you plan these things, now I've just broken it. Getting off the bike, I've kicked it and I've busted it. <laughs> So uh, we were a camera down, unfortunately. Let's fire it up. Let's fire it up so you can hear the sound. I'll put you down by the action. Listen to this. Oh, yeah. Oh, mama. Oh. There you go. That's a man. That's a man in your face. So let's go. For a little spin. Let's take you out for a spin. Spectacles, testicles, wallet, watch, sorted. And normally I buy the contacts, but I couldn't. I've only got three left, so I couldn't be asked to put the contacts in today. So we're spectacles today, which actually fit under the goggles, not too bad. But anyway, I digress about goggles and spectacles, so I can get on it now without kicking it. Ah. <sighs> Her in position. Turn the key. Cool. The, the key is cool. Look at the key, man. Key it. I don't think it started till the FI light goes out, which annoys me. Also, these little buttons, they rattle out of the enclosures, which is a bit shit. Real observation, all clear. Let's pull away. Woohoo! As you can tell, can you hear me? Can you hear me okay? Yeah? It's a bit loud. Oh, it's loud, man. It is, like I say, it is. With no baffles in it, it is bordering on the offensively loud, I would say. Through the gravel. Offensively loud. So, yeah, I'm, I'm loving the Husqvarna. I'm truly enjoying. Now, I enjoyed riding it. I saw this. I enjoyed riding it when it was being run in. Now I've switched to the advanced map. You have two maps available on this. A normal, uh, three maps. A normal map, an advanced map, and a low fuel, poor fuel quality map. Well, of course. Oh God. Oh, don't you feel for me up? Oh, that's horrible. Wet. It did rain earlier on. <laughs> Look at me. It's 
such a such a dog. Um, yeah, so I had it on the standard map for running in. I've now gone for the advanced map. So the advanced map basically, basically sharpens up the throttle response. I don't think it gives you really any more power, but it's more of a direct feel to the throttle. <laughs> it, it is loud. It is loud. Oh, she's mean, man. I hated the standard exhaust. I hate any sort of standard exhaust. It's just horrible. Horrible, horrible things. But especially on a supermoto, you've got to be loud. The whole bike's about being a bit of a hooligan and being a bit offensive and, ah, you know, not, not, giving a, not giving a flying hoot about people, things. So having a little pop-pop doesn't really fit the old image. This is a perfect little wheelie swap here. You're not by any, you're not by any houses. You're not going to upset anybody, apart from the odd rambler. But they deserve to be upset anyway, being so sad. But look at it. Look at the view. Look at the view. Gorgeous. You can't quite see over those trees. Hang on a minute. Tufty who's just bought the little WR250. I'm going to do a bit of, we went out yesterday and then did a few wheelies and stuff, so I'm going to stick a bit of wheelie footage at the end of this video. Uh, yeah, he's just bought a WR250 and uh, he's actually got a 1290 Super Duke as well at home but that has not turned a wheel since he's got the WR. He absolutely loves the Supermoto so much that the uh, 1290's not been out. That says a lot. Man. Oh dear, such a child, such a child, I'm oh, a middle aged man, heaven's sake, acting like a 13 year old, I love just coming out, spin it around, I love just, it's got something to steer lock on this, <laughs> look at that, I love just coming out and exploring. Kill, just kill, kill stone. <laughs> Bug in the face. Kill stone. Let's go and have a look at kill stone. It's just so. I think I'm so lucky. I live in an area which is so beautiful. And there's so many little lanes like this that you can just go out and explore. It's just fantastic. Look at this road. Look at this. Oh, this is cool. Gritties. This is like the uh, Goodwood Hill Climb. So much fun. Yeah, just thought I'd quiet all down a little bit. 
ship in. I'll get a pint. I get shandy and shandy. Ah, cheers. Mmm. That's what I'm on about. Lovely. Absolutely lovely around here. <sighs> Smell that country air. Mm. Oh yeah. Australia's finest. Fresh <laughs> It's only a shandy. Oh Jesus. I was raping someone. I must say a big thank you to uh, Andy Mancam. <coughs> Oof. Gave me a bit of a shout out. As his number one moto vlogger the other day on his channel. So massive thanks, Andy. Cheers, me old fruit. I really appreciate your uh, your kind words. Mm. Ah. <coughs> Ooh. So what are my plans for the 701? I hear you ask. <coughs> oh, jeez, fizzy that. Ain't well. You see those little stickers on the wheels? Funny enough, they are just actually stickers. My plan will be is to, when those stickers finally peel off, when the tyres are worn out, get the wheel stripped down and get and Ham put a great picture on Twitter the other day where someone had had half of the wheel painted in that fluorescent yellow and the other half black. So that'll be my plan. Half black, half fluorescent wheels when the tyres wear out. I have to get the wheel stripped down to get it done properly. But uh, so if, any, if anyone knows anyone who can strip wheels down at a reasonable price, let me know in the comments because that's going to be my one of my first things for the bike. Fluorescent wheels. <coughs> Put that around there like that. <coughs> I'm going for the record for the most belching in a moto vlog. <laughs> Hello, level to you. Hello, level to you. Yeah, that'll do, will it? The most belching in a moto vlog ever. I think the record has to belong to Samo or the Baron at the moment. <laughs> Let's see if we can uh, see if we can out belch them. No, it's not enough there, mate. Despite all the cameras I've got, all the cameras I've tried. This here, Hero 4, is still the daddy. If you want to know what the best camera is that's out there on the market, GoPro Hero 4. So it's only the silver, fantastic. I'd like to get the black at some point, just so I can get the high frame rate, the 120 frame rate for slow-mo stuff and that. But it's an awesome camera, absolutely awesome camera. Still can't be beaten. IMO. Hashtag, I'm a cock. <laughs> <laughs>